Hey friends, welcome to One Flight Down Basement Beer Tastings and another Back of the Beer Fridge Sunday. Today we are taking a look at a beer from the Junkyard Brewing Company in Moorhead, Minnesota. This one is called Green Fluff. So this is a beer I have tried before. Uh, I was down in uh, Moorhead, Minnesota in late September, early October, and tried this in the can uh, in my hotel. I think I did a, uh, a short. You can look that up on my channel if you want. Uh, and I remember liking it at the time, but it just also kind of struck me as the kind of thing that when I took cans home, Probably shouldn't let it sit too long. And it's now been a little while. It says here it was packaged, packaged uh, September 26th. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you why I, I think that it probably should be had fresh. Uh, the ingredients on this. Um, it's ale with pistachios, pineapple puree, marshmallow fluff, natural marshmallow. Where did I get the fluff is not natural. Uh, oh, sorry, natural marshmallow flavor. Okay. <laughs> and artificial flavor. So it's got natural flavors and artificial flavors. It's got fruity puree. It's got marshmallows. It's got all kinds of stuff in there. It seems to me like the kind of thing that would probably be drank fresh, but uh, this can ended up kind of sitting in the beer fridge a little too long before I got around to, uh, to trying it again. So I'm going to try it again right now. Uh, Junkyard Brewing is a super fun place. We had a great time when we were there. Uh, it was uh, Oktoberfest, or as they call it, Junktoberfest. Uh, we had an amazing time. I'm going to leave a link um, to right up here. I'll put it right up there or in the description box below uh, to a video of when we visited there. There was uh, all kinds of activities. There was a beard, uh, like a facial hair competition. There was a... Um, a stein holding competition it was a really fun time so if you haven't seen that video uh check it out it was a lot of fun all right here we go i'm gonna drink some green fluff and of course you look at the picture it tells you exactly what they're going for right the uh the weird like marshmallow salad thing you just think of like that's what people brought to dinners in the 70s. Uh, I'm going to put this in my uh, counterpart brewing glass that I got from Shane at Shane's Craft Beer Review, only because I really like this glass. It's got some heft to it. Um, all right, let's uh, crack this open and uh, see what it looks like. So, it's got a, I think, a slight greenish hue, or I don't know if that's just, you know, Oh, my head. It's like yellow with a touch of a greenish hue, I think. And uh, it's pretty hazy looking. I don't think you're seeing a face in there. Maybe, a, no, not even an outline. So there's some definite floaties going on in there. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of floaties going on in there. I did give this a little bit of a, uh, a roll before we started the video, hoping that would help. Um... But yeah, I don't know. I mean, floaties in a beer with pistachio probably is just the way it's supposed to be. I don't really remember uh, from when I did the hotel room uh, version uh, of a video with this, the short. I don't remember if it had floaties or not. But uh, yeah, it's uh, an interesting looking beer. Let's get a nose on it. I'm not getting a lot to be honest kind of surprising um i get just a a touch of something sweet yeah but it, not a whole lot interesting okay because there's, there's according to the ingredient list there's, there's a lot going on but uh i don't know anyway let's go in for a sip cheers my friends It still tastes pretty decent. I like pistachio, so it actually tastes still quite good. Um, it does have a very, very thick mouthfeel, though. 
Um, <laughs> it's, it's, um, probably a better beer to, to share with someone just because it is so thick and heavy. You probably don't want to drink the, the whole thing, I'm thinking. Um, yeah, it's not, it doesn't taste bad though. But man, it's got a heavy, heavy body. Like really, really heavy. Um, yeah, I, yeah, even now though, I'm, I'm kind of like, I, I, I like the pistachio taste, but I just find the whole experience with this beer is just a little too much, too heavy. Um, it's okay, but, uh, yeah, I seem to remember liking it more when it was uh, a little more fresh. Um, but yeah, uh, there we go. Green Fluff, Junkyard Brewing. Uh, check out Junkyard Brewing. Uh, as I said, on the, check out the other video I've got there. Uh, it's, it's a pretty cool place, and I do plan on going back there again later this year. Um, now, this is normally the point on uh, Back of the Beer Fridge Sunday when I check what I'm going to be drinking on the next Back of the Beer Fridge Sunday. But next week, I'm not going to do a Back of the Beer Fridge Sunday. <laughs> no. I know, I know. Plan your weekends around this, I understand. But I'm going to do something a little different next week. Because next Sunday is St. Patrick's Day. And in honor of St. Patrick's Day, I am going to try my hand at making uh, a black and tan. So I've got this little pouring tool I'm going to try. I've actually got two versions of a black and tan pouring tool. I've got this official one from Guinness. And then I got another one I got for Christmas. I'll try one of them. And uh, if you don't know what black and tan is, it's basically a layered beer with a Guinness on top and then a lighter beer on the bottom. So we're going to try that out next week. And then I promise we'll get back to back of the beer fridge Sunday after that. Unless something else comes up. Who knows? <laughs> all right, friends. Thank you so much for dropping by the Terry Isle Basement Pub. We'll see you all again real soon. Cheers, everybody. Again, I'm tired and I need to go home.